Hi, good evening, uh, good day, good morning, wherever you're watching from. Um, so today I'm going to show us how to uh, walk around our invitation. So, so most times when you get an invitation to teach a class, you're expected to receive an email that reads like there's the name of the uh, sender, then the invitation will tell you the class you're trying to teach. So for this, so what it does is it combines your the class name and the class description in the header. So this class is actually workshop workspace training and um, Google Workspace is the description of this. So once you get this email, the first thing you're gonna see is this interface. So uh, what you have to do is just to click on the join. And sometimes um, the mail could go to any of the uh, depending on how you designed your your email it could go to your gmail i mean to your updates promotions it could go to your spam sometimes so it depends on and also it depends on the kind of account so most times when you get a domain account that is a paid version of google workspace uh sending you such invites most times it gets your spam and it could have you could be finding it so always check for check through all the folders in your email so just click on accept and you have once you click on accept you've actually joined the class so uh, let's wait so um the first thing i'm going to do is just to give us an overview of what this interface really speaks to so first i'm going to be talking about the stream so the stream is where you have all your conversations with your uh, students. You have, you post announcements, you post exams, quizzes, and all that. That is what the stream is for. It is where you find a lot of things. So you can see the header. So sometimes people design or, conf or um, put their own personalized design, it depends on you. You could just go to the customized bar and design that. Um, most times you're gonna see this because I'm a co-teacher in this class. Um, we're going to get to that. Um, so this is where you see the class code. So anytime you have to invite a new student to your class, um, you just need to copy this code or you click on that um, square button and either you send, you copy this code and send to them uh, or you just copy the invitation link. Then you have, whenever you set up um, deadlines and all that, they can view this and you know put that then um, you have the stream settings so the stream settings shows you everything so you can see description section um, class name and all that so these are general settings you have so for the stream settings um, this is critical it helps you to control um, how your class is uh, how students actually reply you so when you click on stream the first thing you can say is students can only you can see student can post and comment that is even students can also create announcements or students can um, only comment or only teachers can comment so depending on what exactly you want or how you want your class to be structured uh, your students would be able to either post and comment if you leave it at this or you only want them to be able to comment when you post an announcement to see their reaction or you just want them to follow instructions and you only say teachers can comment and post um, then when it's showing how class works look on the stream it asks whether it should show the attachment and details or just show a so most times it comes like a card we're going to get that in the next in one of the i mean in the series of this video then hide notifications and all that uh then show deleted items so most times only teachers can see deleted items when they are deleted all right so um if your the owner of the class so we have owners and we have co-teachers so the owners of the class are those that create the classes uh we have co-teachers i'm going to do a video on how what that means later uh so the meeting room i mean the class meets link is usually only the only the owner can actually activate such so 
<clears throat> that way you have just one link that all the all students actually can just go to and uh, join the i mean join for any live sessions then you have the marking calculation and all that i'll get to this in uh so well basically depending on how the structure of your classes or what you want to do most times um we we create um overall marking calculations so we could have said i could, I could say that is either it is no overall mark total points or weighted by category so for total points you can let's just see how total points work so uh what this means is you're going to create categories of your marking scheme so in in that process you have to ensure that each of the sections you're grading has a total point or other points that sums up to whatever you want to sum up up to so for instance we could say that um we have core um presentation for instance could be a mark category let's imagine all of the total score is going to be 100 let's say we're giving this 10. Uh, let's imagine we we're, we're going to be giving them some documents and all that so writing let's say we're given 10 then we have quiz one let's also say uh this is going to take 30 marks we have quiz two um this is going to take another 30 max so this is just about 80 points and um the last one we have will be let's say um final exam and let's say 20 max so it doesn't matter the scoring points or something you can determine that so what we're just saying is that Right now, we've designed for the entire class the marking system. So, what's on students' points? They can, on, as, as a student, they if you toggle this, they can see the overall mark for each of the quiz or each of the assignments that you actually give. And once you're done, you just save, and you update the stream settings. So, you've updated the stream settings for this class. Um, so like I said, this is where you post an announcement. So depending on the number of classes, uh, you, you can see this post is saying that um, you can choose what to share and post with your class. So post work to students right away or something, pick a date. So there are three levels, the three layers. You can actually post immediately. You can um, schedule or something. So let's say that as a teacher, I'm just saying that um, welcome to the um the google workspace train we are thrilled to have you here blah, blah, blah. see you soon and yeah so i'm gonna post it and becomes an announcement so once you do that uh, you can see that you can create comments so this is where we're saying that um, if you allow students to announce something it blocks out a lot of things especially for those of us that are used to working with whatsapp groups and all that you know how sometimes we, we tend to miss out um, information so you can just allow them to just comment oh thank you or something or they could ask questions as regard a particular thing then um the next thing we have is classwork so uh for classwork what you're just doing is you'd have to create um um i'm going i'm going to go deep into i'm going to create a session on classworks but let me just give us an overview so classwork allows you to create five different types of things six different types of things so we have an assignment quiz assessment um uh, questions materials and reuse posts then you have topics so we're going to go in deep into this later on then under your classwork you can have your google calendar so it is automatically uh, created for each class you create uh, most times um, the owner are the one that can actually uh, sorry so the owners are usually the ones that can create things but as a teacher here um, you can actually create something so let's see um 
I'm going to change. So you can see that I've changed it to the training classroom. So whatever you do here, um, so I'm sorry, let me reload. So as a teacher, when you, when you create anything, so if whatever you do here now, I've created a new course. So because this is not a domain email, I can create a calendar here. So what this allows you to do is to be able to schedule events, maybe quizzes or assignments, or maybe you have a particular outing with your students or something, so you can use the create. So uh, let's say um, um, we're going to be having, let's say, uh, hangouts and games so that's just 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 it um so you schedule the time and put something that's more appropriate to you uh date let's say we're doing six day six so you can see it's moving around and that's it that's that's as, as, as simple as that so if you want a google conference um video conferencing fine just click on it and get it you save so um, what this has done is it has created a calendar for you, but I've also created a calendar for your students. So if you go back to stream and they should be able to see it here. I don't know why it's not showing. So uh, they should be able to see it there. Maybe it's a bit soon. So, but they can also see their Google calendar and see what has been scheduled ahead, basically. So yeah, then um, we have, so then you have the Google Clients folder. So this allows for all the materials you post or you upload into the classroom is saved in a Google Drive folder. Um, so this automatically is, is saved in your Google Drive under the classroom um, settings. So let's open the drive and you'll see classroom. So on the classroom, you're going to see each class has a folder of its own. And so the, depending on the number of classes you've created or you have, it would continue to create this folder for you. Yeah, so you can easily just, instead of you going through the list of classes or announcements, you can just go to your folder and all that. So yeah, people, this is where you see your co-teachers as a, as a facilitator and um, your students. So there's no students in this class actually. Uh, yeah, then your marks. So once you invite a student to the class, you're going to be able to see how the grading really works. We're going to get to that in a bit uh, in the next videos. Um, so basically, that is how your Google Workspace um, Classroom setting looks like. So um, one more thing is now remember you had the stream setting. So once you put an announcement, that initial thing goes away. So to go back and make some corrections, you can just go to your to your certain icon at the top and that will be corrected um so you can also have this sidebar for you can see your calendar you can see to review you can see um so your calendar automatically shows here uh, i don't think um it, it doesn't say there's anything so if you switch it to workspace training it's supposed to show some things but i don't know it's not updating so we'll correct and see why that is so i start from that you can also have archived classes for some of some people that actually visit a lot of classes. You can have that and um, you can have a general setting where you control what kind of things you see. So it's, it could tell you, you could control your notifications, you could control your uh, emails and say don't send. So for me, I would just tell them not to post um, comments so I can allow them to private comment on my work. They should email me about that. but. Uh, late submissions i may not want to see that so all i could say is um when a scheduled post is published or failed basically so yeah it depends on you uh the that that is actually user specific and you could do that so yeah so that's all for your interface and uh thank you